home to the world's longest living men Old people. and nearly 10 times more centenarians per capita than in the U.S. is Sardinia, Italy. We'll reveal the three foods they eat daily. The Mellis family stand as living testaments to the efficacy of the Sardinian lifestyle, achieving global recognition, the Guinness World Records as the oldest living siblings. Like old people. Surpassing a century, the Mellis family unveils the profound influence of a close-knit community, a traditional Mediterranean diet, and an active way of life. Let's explore the daily practices of this long-living family that can serve as inspiration for us to integrate into our own daily lives. Within the Mellis family, Consolata, Claudina, Conceta, Antonio, Maria, Adolfo, Vitalito, Fida, and Mafalda showcase these secrets to a long and healthy life. Laughter, strong family bonds, and moderate red wine consumption become the elixirs of their well-being. Regular walks, a sardonic sense of humor, and a profound respect for elders become the threads, weaving their tapestry of longevity. Daily physical activity and familial closeness have given them the highest concentration of male centenarians in the world. The men who are sheep herders walk at least five miles a day. The daughters are caring and helpful to their parents, which may contribute towards living even longer than most in this area. In the idyllic town of Perdeste Fagu within Sardinia, where centenarians are not a rarity, but a norm, cultural events thrive and the echoes of longevity resound through the cobbled streets. The significance of environmental conditions and social connections takes center stage, fostering an environment where the roots of health and longevity run deep. The secret to a long and healthy life is woven into the fabric of everyday living. The Sardinian people have unlocked the code to longevity through a harmonious blend of nutrition lifestyle, and community. At the heart of this phenomenon is the consumption of special famine foods cherished for their nutritional richness, stress-reducing qualities, and their association with an increased lifespan. Adhering to the classic Sardinian diet, rich in whole grain bread, beans, vegetables, fruits, mastic oil, and omega-3 rich pecorino cheese, they reserve meat for special occasions. The Sardinian traditional diet, a cornerstone of this longevity, is a testament to the adage, you are what you eat. Dairy products, particularly goats and sheep's milk, play a central role for their calorie intake. The standard American diet has less than one third of caloric intake from whole grains than the Sardinian diet. This is because the standard American diet consumes a significant portion of fake ultra-processed foods. Real foods like nuts, a daily indulgence in Sardinia, offer a bounty of essential nutrients, including vitamin E, magnesium, and omega-3 fats, contributing to the overall well-being of the inhabitants. The longevity of Sardinian people goes beyond mere statistics. It is a manifestation of a way of life deeply rooted in tradition and propelled by modern science. The Mellis family with multiple centenarians like Consolata living beyond 107 and Tenoyo reaching 105 becomes a focal point for researchers exploring the interplay of genetics, lifestyle, and longevity. The ancestors of Sardinia, driven by necessity during times of famine, developed a unique and ingenious method of food preservation that has left an indelible mark on the island's culinary heritage. One such culinary treasure is Badagar, a traditional Sardinian food product crafted by salting and drying the ovaries of mullet fish. Initially created as a means to preserve food during lean times, this process unwittingly retained the quality of omega-3 fatty acids challenging to preserve nutrients associated with longevity. While Badarga was once a humble survival food consumed in times of scarcity, it has transformed into a gourmet delicacy in contemporary times. The preservation technique devised by Sardinian ancestors not only safeguarded against famine, but inadvertently contributed to the islanders' health and longevity by maintaining the nutritional integrity of their sustenance. Beyond Baderga, Sardinia boasts a rich tapestry of ancient foods that reflect the resourcefulness of its people. 
Trachia, a roasted lamb intestine dish, horse steak, pigeon, sea urchin roe, and seeds from Boraginaceae plants are among these time-honored culinary offerings. While some, like sea urchin roe, have been recognized as delicacies, others, such as Boraginaceae seeds, are gradually gaining popularity due to their nutritional value. Many of these ancient Sardinian foods remain unfamiliar. Ancestors allowed them to harness the nutritional potential of these unusual foods, enhancing the health and well-being of the Sardinian population over generations. In essence, the preparation and consumption of these famine foods have become a cultural guide, weaving a narrative of a lifestyle conducive to a longer and healthier life. Here are the three foods the Mellas family has daily. The first food the Mellas family has each day is their traditional Sardinian minestrone soup. At lunchtime each day, the Mellas family comes together to enjoy their signature Sardinian minestrone soup, a culinary delight that evolves with the seasons. This wholesome soup features a medley of beans, fresh herbs, assorted vegetables, flavorful pig skin, and rich goat's cheese. An intriguing aspect of their culinary tradition is the adaptability of the soup, which takes on the essence of the current harvest from their bountiful gardens. For those interested, the detailed recipe is provided in the description below. The second food the Mellis family enjoys each day is a serving of sourdough flatbread, which they pair with their Sardinian minestrone soup known as pane caruso, is a traditional Sardinian sourdough flatbread crafted from durum wheat flour, yeast, water, and salt. What sets this bread apart is its unique double baking technique, intentionally reducing its water content more than typical flatbreads. This method allows carousel to maintain its sensory characteristics for several months, a crucial aspect for nomadic shepherds like the ancestors of Sardinia, who lacked regular access to perishable foods. Scientific studies had uncovered that the lactic acid bacteria strains in the sourdough used by locals produce specific peptides and g amino body -ric acid with antihypertensive effects. A lot of people mispronounce that word. Additionally, Pane carousel boasts a low glycemic index, contributing to a reduced risk of chronic diseases such as diabetes. Beyond merely sustaining Sardinia's forebears during challenging periods, the healthful composition of Pane carousel likely played a pivotal role in promoting their longevity. I'll put the recipe in the description. Third each day, the Mellis family indulges in a glass or two of their homemade Canano wine renowned for its exceptional health benefits. This homemade wine boasts two to three times the concentration of artery scrubbing flavonoids compared to other varieties. Crafted from garnet red grainish grapes, it presents a delightful fusion of flavors, including the sweetness of ripe cherries, aromatic spices, and a subtle hint of vanilla. Notably, this wine is meticulously prepared using only grapes devoid of any additives. In stark contrast, commercial non-homemade wines can contain over 70 approved additives. The ritual of wine consumption in the Melmelis household is thought to contribute to the lower levels of stress observed among the male members of the family. A link to a video is in the description that shows how to make the wine. Ongoing research in Sardinian villages unravels the secrets of longevity. Delving into the nuances of the Mediterranean diet, the strength of social connections, and the unique genetic makeup of the inhabitants. The stories of the Mellis family and the thriving villages in Sardinia service illuminating chapters in the ongoing exploration of the elixir of life. In these sunlit landscapes, where time seems to move at its own leisurely pace, the secrets to a long and meaningful life are whispered through the rustling leaves, celebrated in the laughter of centenarians. That was a lot of words. A lot of words. Anyone can take one step at a time towards longevity. What's your first baby step? Let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you.